What's up guys? Today is the first car review I've ever done. Big thanks to Doug. Um, this is my buddy Doug. We met at uh, a car meet. Actually, Danny Courtney facilitated that. Um, so thank you, Danny, for that. Uh, new friends and everything. And uh, I'll be at your meet on Saturday if you're watching this. But uh, yeah, Doug, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about your car and uh, anything you like about it. All right, so my name is Doug. Um, lived in San Diego my whole life. Got this Lexus about a year ago. Uh, definitely the best car I've ever owned between just the quality of the interior, uh, the reliability. It's cost me nothing to own in this first year. Um, but yeah, I love this car. It's a big step up from where I started, which was a, a 1998 Ford Contour that I got handed down to me because my parents couldn't sell it. So yeah, definitely love this car. There's more to come for sure in the future. Uh, just done the uh, the springs right now, but definitely some more uh, plans coming up. So thanks to uh, Cameron for for uh, shooting shooting the car. Um, yeah. It's been great. Cool. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna do a couple shots and uh, show you guys the looks and what this car is all about. And uh, Doug's gonna let me take it for a uh, drive and like, get my first impressions on camera. So uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the Lexus IS 350. It has a V6. It is a 3.5 liter, and uh, it's got 306 horsepower and 276 foot-pounds of torque. So it's just it's just the right amount to have like the cross between daily comfortable driving and uh, when you really want to get on it, it's there to have fun. So it's a very comfortable ride overall. Uh, everything is really satisfying uh, like I said the interior of the red is phenomenal this is the rear wheel drive version they do have the all-wheel drive version but the all-wheel drive they do have it tuned down a little bit power wise which is kind of interesting so the rear wheel is definitely uh, a little bit more of a powerhouse we are in sport plus mode and it's still really really smooth with the stiffened dampeners and everything so we can kick it in off sport mode and it'll loosen the car up even more and be even more comfortable and Shoot, if I drove this thing every day, I'd leave it in sport mode all the time. <laughs> so we'll kick it in manual. We're going 50, fourth gear, put it in third. We're gonna start getting on it. Red line is so far, it's like it has such like long gears. It's so fun, like you're like, oh, is it ever gonna get there? But you're like, yeah, it just keeps going forever. First main thing when you get in this car is the interior is like, so on point, like you get in, the seats just hug you. You forget how not as good your seats are in your car compared to these until you get in this. Um, the red is just phenomenal. Uh, everything about it I love interior wise. It's super comfortable. Uh, Doug actually lowered it like two inches. It rides perfect through the corners. It drives amazing. Um, we'll get on it here in a second. We're just cruising around. 
around, but I mean, as a daily, it literally does not get any more comfortable than this. I'm super hyped on this car. The gauges are really cool when you, is when you put it in sport mode. Yeah. When you put it in sport mode, it slides over and uh, it gives you kind of the added sporty look and it's really fun. The pedals have like a little bit of forgiveness, so if you do want to drive really smooth and uh, not like jerk any head back, heads back, even in sports mode, it's just like you like has that little cushion basically there, and you can really like drive just how you want to. Or when you lay on it, it really reacts. So. All right, so we're in second gear, cruising 45 into a corner. Uh, the steering just—it's this car is glued to the ground like. The downshifts are perfect, really fun. All right, here we go first. This car has literally left me speechless. I'm just enjoying driving. I can't even think straight to talk. The steering was like the right balance of like, you think it's gonna be heavy, but it just goes when you want it to. And it just makes it so fun to drive. And then you just put the throttle down and... I don't, I don't have anything to say. You know, I, I drive a, a manual Mazda Speed, as most of you guys know, but when you switch over to a car like this and it just pulls all the way through as if it's not even shifting, it's like, I don't know which one you like. You can't go wrong with driving manual, but this is, it's top notch. It's fun. It's a good switch. It'd be hard to choose if I had to buy a car again. With lowering it a little bit, I can tell that's made a difference in the corners and it's just a fun car to drive. I really like the rear wheel. Now for being stock, the car does sound, it doesn't sound like, when you get on it, it sounds actually very throaty. It's, 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 it's fun to ride and even with stock exhaust, like it is definitely satisfying. Um, we could put it in manual and third gear. I mean, you, you can hear it kick in. So with the gauges, when you kick it over to the right, it can give you like your miles per gallon and it'll tell you what you're playing on the radio and what direction you're heading and everything. Pretty much all the main stuff that's in like the center of a, uh, the dash of a car, it has it all right here in front of you. It's really clean. It's kind of very satisfying how it can go back and forth. It kind of switches it up, it's really cool. Overall, this car is just, it's just the right amount of low. Hucks the corners, you're glued to the ground. All the gears are just the right length. Um, going between manual and automatic, super comfortable. It's fun when you want it to be. It's a cruiser when you want it to be. Um, it, the suspension is just like, I can't get over how like smooth the steering and the suspension is. It is like so perfect. Just the right amount of like heaviness in the wheel. And um, yeah, just the everything about it, the sound. Um, I'm excited for Doug to have this and uh, things he starts doing it in the future. So uh, I appreciate it, Doug. Thanks again. and. Uh, this is the uh, end of today's video. I'm excited, thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to the next car review, and maybe we'll have to get back together with Doug in the future when he does a few things with this car and uh, go from there. But uh, yeah, overall, um, would I recommend this car? Absolutely, this is like one of those cars that, um, you know, you kind of maybe have like overlook, um, and like one until you ride in it, you're like, wow, this thing is the real deal. It's got eight, like eight gears, and it's super comfortable, um, revs super high, so, uh, yeah, thanks again guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next episode.